Hey folks, so I've got a little bit of a break from the norm tonight. Uh, I've got a Game Boy Advance SP here and a Game Boy Advance SP backlight kit, but we're not going to be doing a full install on the Game Boy Advance SP. Not, not just yet, I will do it, just that's not this video. Uh, what I want to talk about in particular are the screens that are coming with these IPS kits. Now, this is a normal screen um, that probably associate with these new IPS kits. It's out of a BlackBerry Curve 9380 or something like that. Um, not, a, not a very special screen, except that it just so happens to be close enough in spec and, you know, like resolution and size so that with the help of some uh, conversion electronics works great in a Game Boy Advance. However, I bear grim tidings. These panels were made by LG um, starting in 2011. I don't know how long they made them, but I assume it wasn't indefinite. Uh, anyway, LG stopped making these a while ago, and apparently stock has all but run out. Uh, I am to understand that Funny Playing has a small stockpile of these. How many? I don't know. But I've been told that their kits should be coming with these screens largely indefinitely. Um, whereas the one chip branded kits, which is what this is, is are coming with a new LCD here. Let me get that out. One of these. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, gee, Mako, that looks like the exact same LCD, and, well, for the most part, it is. Any kit that this works in, this will also work in. This, however, is not made by uh, LG. This is made by a company called Topoli, um, and I've been told by everyone who has had the pleasure of uh, playing with these that they are significantly worse than the LG brand ones. Um, and not just like their lower quality, but the quality is all over the place. So sometimes you get a good one, sometimes you don't. Now, if you want to be able to tell for yourself which is which, um, just know that if you're ordering a funny playing kit, you're getting LG. If you're not ordering a funny playing kit, you're probably not getting LG. But if that's not a good enough answer for you, you want to actually be able to tell the difference between the two. The LG has this like mesh uh, conductive material covering the bottom here, whereas the Topoli branded one has this aluminum tape instead. If you look at the actual ribbon cable connector as well, the Topoli one is lighter colored with these two distinct black dots, whereas the LG one is darker colored and you don't have those distinct black dots. Otherwise, these are the exact same resolution, exact same size, should offer comparable brightness, uh, comparable colors, uh, but I've been told the Topoli screens in particular suffer with image retention issues, um, white balance issues, uh, like in particular some of the backlights are just really yellow on these, and overall just lower quality LCDs. So what I want to do, I have between the backlight kit and a few LCDs that Retro Game Repair Shop has sent me, I have five of the new Topoli LCDs here. Um, and then I have a few LG LCDs. Here are the Topoli ones. Uh, I'll have to open up the uh, other kit that I have as well, this one. Uh, but here are the LG ones, some of these Except for this one, all of these have been used, so they're a little bit dirty, they've been kind of beaten up, but I have quite a few of them. So I think I think for comparison purposes we'll be good, I think I'll have enough here. Uh, but let me grab one more brand new one that I bought for a build that I ended up never doing but we can uh, we can compare and this is going to break Walder's heart when I hook a Topoli screen up to his backlight kit but so be it. So let's start off with taking a look at the new kit and when I'm done here I'll seal this up and pretend like I never actually opened it so that when I do the backlight video when I do the actual install 
and go through it. Except that I just ripped the packaging, but whatever, don't pay attention to that. Oh, this is it's kind of nice. Okay. And do know that I'm not cherry picking. These are legitimately the LCDs that were sent to me. They were just pulled from a pile. I don't know if I got any good examples or any bad examples. I got what I got. So here is the new one chip kit. You get this super long ribbon cable here, uh, but instead of having the electronics on the ribbon cable itself, we have the electronics on the PCB and this is the exact same layout as the um, Game Boy Color version of this kit. I wonder if we can actually just plug this into a Game Boy Color. That would be interesting. Two-in-one. I wonder. Maybe, maybe two-in-one refers to... I'm going to keep these separate. The Game Boy Advance kit as well. I bet that's. I bet in this package is the exact same PCB we got here. And it looks like it, but I'm not going to open it and play with it right now. Alright. So let's get this going. So this Game Boy does work. It is a little bit modded, but that should have nothing to do with our tests here. Plug in this ribbon. And then we're going to start off with the screen this kit ships with. And there is a plastic film on this that needs to be removed. But uh, we'll get to that. So I guess this comes up like that. And it must fold back, so it should be good to just connect it like that. And here goes nothing. All right, so right off the hop, I'm seeing a couple issues. Let me peel off this film just to just to give it a fair chance here. You notice it does have a Game Boy Advance logo. They just put this film over it so that they don't have issues with customs. I didn't mean to stick that back down. There we go. All right. Can I stick that somewhere? I can reapply. There we go. Oh, that's interesting. That's annoying. I think I'm going to have to test with a different kit because when I have this outside the Game Boy, it's cycling through all the colors these touch sensors that they're not properly insulated. Maybe if I grab it by the glass. Yeah. So like it or hate it, this new kit comes with color palettes. Let me actually get this game loaded. The hell? Oh. Duh. <laughs> uh, where's the battery cover? Problem be gone. Okay. So there we go. It doesn't look too bad, if I'm being completely honest. Um, actually, that's not true. Hang on. Let me... Uh, is that really... Did that really just happen? Yeah. 
right out of the box mine comes with a dead pixel that's nice so let me uh, did I hit one of the touch I think I did I should just desolder these for testing they're so sensitive like I'm not even hitting it I'm just getting my finger near there we go right where my pinky is there's a little dead pixel I have to take a picture and zoom in but that's what you have to look forward to with these Topoli LCDs right out of the box. You can't make this stuff up. Um, let me try. Get a close up. So you can see right next to the Pokeball. Right at the tip of my knife. Right there. Dead pixel. Right out of the box. How beautiful is that? Okay. I'm going to switch this off now. We're going to switch over to the funny playing kit just so I don't have to deal with these touch sensors and I bought this out of my own pocket this wasn't this kit wasn't provided to me which is why I don't feel bad about not using it yet <laughs> And so, yeah, again, you can tell this is Topoli, because there's those two distinct black dots. And let's try this out. Another ribbon, just to rule it out. And see, there's my dead pixel. Let me kill that light. Screw it, let's kill all the lights. Right there. It's nothing the kit's doing. I'm going to power this off again, and I'm going to power it on without the game. And let's just take a look at this backlight, yeah? This should be a perfectly white screen. And, uh, where it is? This is also a one chip kit, but this is using a LG LCD. And look at how much cooler the backlight is. This is very warm, very yellow. And this is just the first screen I'm looking at. All right. I'm going to have to do some more in depth tips, more in depth testing uh, to verify those claims of. Um, image retention, but come on out. Okay. Now, maybe I just got unlucky. It is not completely unheard of that you get a bad kit. It, it, it does happen. Um, that has happened to me before, unfortunately. I'm just sticking this film back down from a video later. So we're done with this for now. All right, let's take a look at, just for comparison, here's an older screen shipped by the uh, One Chip Company. This should be an LG. If I can get this plugged in. Look at that, nice and white. Looks great. Compare it to that one. Looks the same color to me. Makes sense because they're the same LCD. No dead pixels, nothing. Works great. I'm not going to go through my whole stack of LG LCDs because I quite frankly already have. 
and they all look fine. I don't, there's, there's nothing stand out on any of them except for the ones that I ruined. Uh, which I thought I had somewhere. But uh, I guess let's keep looking at the topoly screens here. I'm going to keep the film on most of these because it shouldn't affect anything. And I'll throw some LG screens with film on it just for comparison. So this one actually looks pretty decent. I don't see any dead pixels. The backlight is still a little bit yellow, but nothing, uh, nothing too bad for comparison. Here's a, uh, an LG. Let's boot a game up. Now, sir, let's boot a game up. Piece of junk. There it goes. Should probably clean this thing. Now I'm seeing some flickering down the middle. There's this column right about where my pinky is. It's kind of flickering. I don't know, it seems to just stop doing that. Uh, I'm seeing it every now and then. I don't know what's up with that. It doesn't look too bad to me. Now and again, I have heard reports of uh, image retention. I'm not seeing anything right now. I think I have to play it for quite a bit more for more to see that. I do notice that with these screens, you get a little bit more light bleed around the bottom here. Not really a big deal because this is all usually masked off. So it's not terrible. There is that weird column flickering uh, that I don't know what's up with that. In all fairness, it could just be like I didn't have this thing connected properly. Oh, let's take a look at the backlight first. Oh, you know what? There is a much easier way. I can flip that on, hold start, and select. Alright. So yeah, same thing. It's uh, quite a bit more yellow. Not, I wouldn't call it terrible, but it's not as good. Quite simply. Thankfully, I don't see any more dead pixels again. There's some uh, schmutz, I guess, on this. All right, power cycle it to boot into the game. I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but there is this column or this row of pixels that is slightly discolored. I think it's this film though, so I'm gonna peel it off if I can. I don't know, maybe this slightly warmer color temp is, uh, maybe it's a good thing. 
Maybe it'll play to your benefit, to your tastes. But, all right, let's try one more. Again, this is another Topoli. And this one looks a little bit more yellow than the rest, for comparison again. I think this one came with another screen defect to peel the film off to check it out but there's this dot down here where my pinky is it doesn't look like a dead pixel but it's not coming off when I rub the uh, film yeah nice another defective screen all right so what have we tested four and I found two, maybe three defective screens. Like just with bad pixels or some shit. Wally over there. Yeah, right there. You still see it. Alright. Let's try the last one. Let's go for five. See what happens. Um, oh, it's right here. This is the Game Boy Advance kit. Oh, nice. It comes with the uh, adhesive tape. I didn't know they were still doing that. Just gonna pull the screen out. Same as all the rest. Got the aluminum tape, those two distinct dots down there because it's toppley. I think someone peeled this film off before me. It looks like there's stuff under the film. Yeah. I don't see any dead pixels or anything. Just lint and stuff under the film. That's okay. Oh, one more thing. Just for comparison, five out of five, all yellow. And you'll have to forgive me, the, I didn't think to lock the color settings on my phone. That would have been a uh, wise decision. I don't think it's going to auto adjust that, that much. That is the worst part of Pokemon Emerald. All the random damn calls you get. But there you have it. Now just for comparison, let's do those were all top leaks except for the one LG that I did. Let's do one more LG. Now we should be in a real, top leak should be in a really good advantage here because this is a screen that I've restored myself. 
It had some damage. And, uh... Oh, wait, I haven't restored this one. This is not the screen I thought it was. But it does still have some damage, you can see, in this top corner. But ignoring this top corner, because that was something that I accidentally did to this screen, we can see the backlight is much less yellow. Uh, there's still that light bleed on the top and the bottom, but I don't know. It, I guess it looks about the same. And just for comparison, you can see they're just about the same there. And let's actually boot it into the game and I'll do the same little sequence that I just did. And you can skip throughout the video and I don't know, take screenshots or something and compare. Having them side by side, looking at this one after looking at the other one, I think this one looks better. Again, ignoring that top corner, because that was my bad. There's that. Let's do one more thing here. So this screen is one of the uh, Funny Playing SP IPS kits. I'm going to turn the light on because I'm not going to plug this in, but there is something I want to discuss with this screen itself. Um, you notice it's really hard to see where the screen starts and where the bezel ends. That's because these lenses are actually fully laminated to the uh, screen itself, unlike with the one chip kits. You can see quite a bit better there's no lamination there, it's just stuck on at the edges. And I'm sorry, I just can't quite get the lighting right, but you can see, you can see the gap better. Uh, let me get these two SPs side by side. The one in my left hand is funny playing, full laminated. One in the right is one chip, no lamination whatsoever. If you press down on the lens, which you absolutely shouldn't do, uh, you can get it to actually contact the LCD and it'll leave behind some Newtonian rings. I'm, I'm not really having any luck with that because it requires more pressure than I feel comfortable putting out. But here it is. Um, verdict, I think. I, I'm not really liking these new screens. Oh, you know what? Let's do one more thing. Hang on. I'm sorry. I've got screens all over my desk now. Let's do one of the better looking Topolis here. This one. Maybe. And I'm going to put Pokemon Emerald in both of these Game Boys. Granted, one is in Japanese, one is not, but I think it'll be perfectly fine for our purposes. Kill the lights again. Again, the left one is Topoli. Ah, oh, didn't help at all. Okay. But the colors and such should be the same on both of these. It would probably help if I lowered the brightness, but I can't do it on this kit. Yes, yes, the battery's dead, I know. Look at these blues, they should be the same color. I'm almost at the same place, I can probably fly. Just so we have a direct comparison, no, no lighting issues, no nothing. Let's 
Look at the colors of the flowers. They're much more vibrant on this screen. Make sure you're watching this at full resolution too. Should be 1080p. Probably walk through the whole Victory Road now on this one without running into a Pokemon. <laughs> uh, there it goes. Okay. So yeah, look at the color in in the. Uh, inside these text boxes here. It looks much sharper on this one. And even though this one has the film applied to it, uh, the film is not obscuring it. I, I, I cherry picked this particular screen as the best one just so it would have stand the best chance. Side by side, I still like this one better. Of course not. Come on. <laughs> Just look at the colors of the cave. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what, what else to say. Um, I guess let me go ahead and sum this up. So I'm going to... I'm going to play with these Topoli screens quite a bit more. I'm just going to plug it into something and leave it on the same frame, like on this frame. Uh, just going to leave it for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, and then I'll come back and see if there's any, um, any image retention. And uh, we'll go from there. But, uh, yeah, screw it. I'll be back. All right, so I actually left it for about 40 minutes on this screen. Haven't touched it, haven't done anything. Um, if there's any image retention, it would be now. I'm gonna go ahead and power it off and then power it back on so we have that white screen. And I don't see anything. Uh, maybe, maybe those image retention reports vary per screen, as in some screens have it worse than others. Or uh, maybe it's more of a, like a, a ghosting issue. I don't know. I, I don't want to outright dismiss it because I certainly believe those claims. I have seen it. I have seen it in other screens at least. But real quick, I do just want to show off one more thing. Uh, I know I already compared this with the other Game Boy, but I wasn't... I wasn't really thinking about it. I, I don't think it's fair to compare the one chip kit, which was the Game Boy Advance SP I had, with the funny playing kit, just in case one of them's doing something funny with colors. So here we have, these are both funny playing um, ribbon mods. This is the Venusaur Game Boy Advance that I did. I haven't, I haven't moved the kit around in any other consoles. So these are both at the exact same brightness at the exact same point in the game, and you can still see that this screen is just more vibrant. It is what it is. Alright, so to sum up, these new Topoli screens, they're quite a bit more yellow. Um, it looks like the defect rate is significantly higher. Out of the five screens that I tested today, two of them are definitely defective out of the box with maybe a third one defective. Two of them had dead pixels, or one of them had a dead pixel, the other one it looks like it had just some something under the LCD layer in front of the backlight. Um, or maybe it was a dead pixel and I just needed to look closer, I don't know. Uh, a third one looked like it had some weird artifacting in one of the columns, but I'm, I'm a bit mixed on whether to count that because that might have just been 
it, you know, the way I was holding it, or it might not have been connected securely. So we'll, we'll call it two out of five for now. But either way, two out of five is a lot because out of all of the LG screens that I've gotten, I've never gotten a defective one. I have in front of me, just on my desk, at least 10 screens, uh, LG at least, at least 10 LG screens, N zero issues. But of the five top of these screens that I got, I already got two that are defective for sure. So here's, here's my thing. These new kits, and I haven't actually given this kit the, uh, I haven't actually run down this kit yet, you know, see how good or not good it is. I don't know. But the screen that comes with this kit is really not okay. Um, the the LG version of this screen is significantly better, especially when you have them side by side, I think. Uh, and the fact that the company is now distributing these screens with their kits without even disclosing that, like they just swapped out to a lower quality screen and left vendors to figure it out, that just doesn't jive with me. I'm not okay with that. So I honestly, I mean, I, I, I've always preferred the funny playing kits over their kits just because there's always that, that extra little touch um, you know, like not dropping frames. That's always nice. And now, especially, I just, I, I, I can't recommend them. The funny playing kits are just, they're the way to go as far as I'm concerned. Um, even, I don't know, I suppose if you're really dedicated, you could always track down some of these LG screens to use with your one chip kit. But to that, I'd say, why not just buy the Funny Plane kit in the first place? They're already about the same price, uh, or even in some cases, cheaper. So just buy the better kit with the better screen and be done with it, in my opinion. But anyway, I think that's all I got for this video. I'm going to go do an install with this kit or the other kit. I haven't decided yet. Maybe I'll do both. Um... And I'll go ahead and get these videos uploaded. I have no idea in what order. But otherwise, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments. Uh, I'd love to do more tests with this kit. I don't really know. Oh, you know what? Let's... Okay. <sighs> oh, let's just do this one more thing real quick. I'm going to keep doing that and, and make this what should have been 15-minute video 45 minutes. But... We're going to try out this AGS aging cart here. Oh, I didn't have my shoulder buttons held down. I should now. Uh-oh. Did I break my shoulder buttons? There we go. So at least out of the box, you know, we're not getting any flicker. We can go through the test pellets here. And yeah, honestly, it looks fine to me. I don't see any issues with this. So yeah, no doubt the LG screen, much better. But if you get this screen, it's not the end of the world. That being said, if you have, you know, if you're looking for which kit to buy, just don't even bother with this one chip nonsense anymore. It's not worth it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, questions, comments, hit me up below. I do try and read every comment, even if I don't respond to them. Uh, go ahead and make sure you check out the description as well. I do always try and put some good stuff in there, some links. Uh, I'm going to take some photos of these screens um, side by side and we can take a look that way uh, but and yeah I'll, I'll, I'll post the link in the description for that as well but otherwise that's all I got for now thanks for watching guys have a good night